Hello everybody, my name is Abdullah Yusuf. Today we will learn together how to install Hyper-V rule of Windows Server 2012 R2 on a virtual machine running on VMware Workstation. Someone may ask a question, why we need to install hypervisor inside a virtual machine? Okay, this is really useful. When we need to build a test labs or when we need to, to build a test environment and we do not have enough hardware resources. So let's go and learn together how to do that. I already installed a virtual machine on a VMware workstation version 12 this virtual machine running microsoft windows server 2012 r2 let's open server manager and click on add rules and features the add rules and features wizard started click on next Make sure that rule-based or feature-based installation option is selected and click next. Select the local server, click next. Now let's check on the Hyper-V and click on add features. Yes, this is what we expect the error message that said Hyper-V cannot be installed Hypervisor is already running OK click on OK and cancel the add rules and features wizard and now let's shut down our virtual machine OK to take over this error message we need to make sure that two things are done from the settings of the virtual machine itself click on processors and make sure that virtualized intel vt dash x avt or amd dash v slash rvi is selected as we know intel vt feature and amd dash vr are two features that must be supported by your physical processor uh, to install hyper v rule on uh, the operating system running over your physical machine of course we check this, uh, this, this option uh, to enable the Intel VT and AMD-VR on our virtual machine. This is the first step uh, to take over the, the error message that we had. Click OK. Now browse to the folder of the virtual machine itself and select the file with the .vmx uh, extension right click select open with choose not bad now browse to the last line of the file and type hypervisor .cpuid dot v0 equal false click on file and save now close the dot vmx file and start the virtual machine again Okay. 
okay nice let's uh, log into our virtual server and wait for the server manager to start okay that's good now from the server manager <coughs> sorry add rules and features okay click next 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 again select hyper-v rule click on add features click next good the error message disappeared now click next next again of course we can configure the a virtual switch now let's do it Okay, next. Leave it as a default. Okay, next. This is the confirmation. Just to make sure that uh, the source files are available, we will click on specify an alternate source path. Okay, this is the DVD of Windows 2012 R2 sources, SX file. For uh, best practice, I recommend to copy the SXS file to your uh, local hard disk if you install the operating system, the Windows, the Windows uh, Server 2012 R2 uh, with its default settings. Okay, install and let's wait for the installation to complete. Uh, we can Actually, we can pause the video till uh, the installation is uh, is complete. Okay, that's good. The installation of Hyper V rule is completed successfully, and uh, as we can see, we should restart our server after the installation. Click close, and now let's go to shutdown and restart. Okay, continue. We're just waiting for the Windows Server to complete startup.
okay that's good now let's log into our virtual machine Just wait the win the server manager to start up. As we can see from tools, Hyper-V Manager appears when we select Hyper-V Manager. Okay, that's good. From Hyper-V Manager, we will see our server. Let's test our new Hyper-V server by creating a new virtual machine. Okay, next. Let's name it Win2K dash test. Okay, leave the configuration on the default select generation 2 1 gig memory ok connect to the virtual switch that we created during the installation phase next ok let's leave the settings on the default next next finish and that's it okay thank you for your time and thank you for showing this video goodbye